Jay Schmidt, everybody. Last four, we're gonna power through this. Next comedian coming to the stage, Wayne Walton, everybody. Wayne Walton. Where's he at? He's coming. All right. Make some noise, because it's just awkward standing here. Come on now. All right, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor and to declare the year of our Lord's favor. The year of our Lord's favor is the seven-year debt cancellation jubilee. Every seven years, debts are supposed to be canceled, and I could use some help because I have a five- and an eight-year-old, and each one of them is $100,000 in debt already as their portion of the national debt. So I can use some help. And I bet you all the everybody out there, if we, if we all got together and did the debt cancellation thing, despite the protests of the power to the be, uh, we'd have a better time off. So, you know right now, they, uh, the elite, the billionaire bankers, are building bunkers. They've got bunkers, and I say, you know, between having a bunker, I'd sooner be Amish. So these are my top three reasons why it would be better to be Amish. Number one, Jebediah won't even know there's a black swan event. The only black swan he knows is the one in the pond out back. All right, number two, both the billionaire pedophiles and the Amish are into virgins. So fist bump to Jebediah because, just cause. You guys don't even know a virgin, I'm guessing. <laughs> All right. The billionaire bunkers will eventually be museums. Think of that, they'll have tours. When this is all said and done, and we have Armageddon, and we have this black swan event, everything goes wrong. And after it's all over, it'll be history. And it'll be a tour that you could visit. And you'll be able to see the different rooms that, you know, uh, Bill Gates or whatever these guys are, whatever they have with their movie collection is for the, the time that they're gonna be underground during the, the big event. You'll, you'll walk from room to room, and eventually you'll come to the room where the, we find the guillotine. The guillotine where we took them all down. And then we'll see a song. The, the, you know what I mean? Eventually the way this all goes down is that, you know, this is the happy ending. We're going to have a happy ending. And the only way the happy ending is going to happen is if the women step up and they deny the happy ending to all the men. Right? Until the men say, hey, you need to end this. Put the, put the end to these serpents and, and just handle it and just cut the men off until the men just get together and like, oh man, like we gotta defend our children. These people are wicked. We really, we gotta do something. So what are we gonna do? And when the men finally get together, like, is there any former military in the audience? Any, like, you, you ever been on a team and you got your tribe up and you guys have a chant together, yeah. right? So I wanna do a, a cadence, very short. Please do a call back with me. And it goes like this. Daddy, what did you do in the Great War? Daddy, what did you do in the Great War? Fight! Did you stand? Did you even the score? Fight! Did you stand? Did you even the score? Crush serpent heads till you see them no more. Crush serpent heads till you see them no more. Serpent! Serpent! Crushers! Crushers! Dragon! Dragon! Slayers! Slayers! Overcomers! Overcomers! That's us. So one day we're going to fix this whole thing. <laughs> and when that happens, we'll have a comedy go to from a tragedy to a comedy. And comedies end with a happy, end, happy ending. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Wayne Walton, everybody. Wayne Walton. Uh, we're on the last three comedians. We can bring up a funny friend of mine, Mr. Manny Gasset, everybody. Woo!